Hi, we're Periwinkle Planner Co. and we hope you enjoy the video. Hello, this is Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. and today I'm going to be planning in my classic size dashboard. I'm going to be using the Homebody sticker book since it's the Homebody planner. I thought it's about time I use these stickers, right? And um, I realized I haven't been using our covers and if I'm selling this product I don't know why <laughs> I'm not showing you that I'm using this product so this is one of our um, translucent frosted covers and it's frosted because when it's away from the planner you can't it's a little bit of diffuses the color of the planner cover but you can actually still see it so if you press down you can really see it it has a little bit of a texture to it and then it snaps and then you open your planner. And so let's find where we are for today. This is how this week is shaping up. I'm working on my to-do list by highlighting it off when I uh, do the complete the task. And I'm filling in my weather and I'm writing down things that are happening each day. This is today, Friday. Right now we are working on filming paid my bills. Now I'm going to be planning for January 20th through the 26th and I've got a little bit of pre-planning that I've done so I know which items are going on when. And then I stuck in my um, card for an oil change because I need to schedule that for next week. So I have this here to remind me and that's reminding me again to remind me. So let's take out these pages. put the planner aside and then find some stickers from the homebody now a little bit of disclosure I'm not going to completely show you here because I don't want to ruin what I'm doing but um, I have been pulling my stickers ahead of time because it's easier for filming and it takes away my anxiety from choosing the right sticker to put on the page in the right place and then having to move it and not move it. So this way I'm actually like planning by myself away from the camera. But then I'm also showing, getting to show you what I did and I'll explain why, I can still explain why I chose what sticker for which place. So if you hear the crinkling, that's me taking the stickers off the wax paper to put them into the planner. So to start, I'm going to, I love using these, but I also want to cover them to uh, make them fill in a bit more. I don't know why I'm turned. Let's see if I go this way if I stop turning my pages so much. So let's take this and I'm going to, these are all again, remember from the homebody, unless if they're not, I'll tell you. This was a flag that's in there and then there's little ones that say the routine, a clear sticker, which I just stuck on top of that. That way I will not have to white out the to buy up here. And it's gonna cover the first one, but that's okay. You can deal with one less to do, I hope. And then also, I'm gonna cover the errands. And I'm trying to find out better ways for me to use this layout. So I'm gonna use this to write a running list of to do's or brain dump to do's, just things that come into my brain like, oh yeah, I gotta remember to do that. And then this section, I really don't have many errands to run. And I go to the grocery store, I use a separate planner for my grocery list, I don't put it in here at all. So I'm going to just put notes here and I think that I might use this for a brain dump or to do's for my Etsy store because I'm, I have that as part of my Franken planner. So I do look at it, but I, don't have that page open so it would just help if I know like oh yeah I gotta get that done today if it's in front of me I'll remember it a little better <laughs> so let's put this one here and just cover up the errands again I think I'm gonna put it all the way up to the line and get it on there straight yep so that's there and then um, the focus section I do like focusing on something each week, but 
the sticker that I'm gonna put over it, which also says focus, is clear. So I need to write out the word so that I can put it over that. And I also took two of the flower sprays from same again the homebody book and I put one I tap and one in the bottom and since I did it on the wax paper it's already stuck together but these are you can see these are individual that won't come off these are individual stickers they're stuck together well though that they're not coming off right now to show you so I'm just going to put this on here I don't want to move it down a little bit so I don't there's too many lines there. Line it up. And then I'm going to use this section more of decorative because I want to use this for writing and things like that. I think this is crooked. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it. I can't quite tell. Okay, <laughs> again. I'm gonna put some decorative elements right there. So I found this quote. That says, the greatest project you will work on is yourself. And I love that. So, oops, before I do this though, I'm also gonna... Mm. The only thing is with whiting these things out, you see it. I just don't like how that looks. All this whiting out. So I'm gonna stick this in the middle. And maybe we'll go up a little bit and hope the flower covers up a little bit more. Stick that down first. And then I found this big flower in my favorite color of green. They cut it in half. And I'm going to use half on top and half on bottom. So I'm going to put the top one down first to maybe cover. This is awkward. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's take this turn around here and put this on here. Maybe cover some of that white out a little bit more. So let's put this over here. Covers it a little bit and then line this one up. Down. So it just basically splits that flower in half. But I kind of like it. And I think more and more I might put my decorations in this area so that I can have this to use and yeah, that's what I like. And then down here again, I've been liking this. I don't know if it's on this side. No, it's on the other page. Um, to track the weather, I've been just using a box. So here's another, it's a box. And then here's um, another one of those sprays that I used over here. I'm going to put this here over here let's put it more in the center i guess let's go a little lower though no i want to be able to write so i'm going to move it over this way more and i already wrote down weather and then days of the week okay and this is now i can show you the spray this is what they actually look like and i'm just going to stick this one up on top of dinner plans just to tie it in a little bit I guess we're kind of done with this page, so I'm just going to move this to the side and work on this page. And these, so what I'm going to be doing now is a lot of layering. I have so much going on on Monday. And I took and I basically layered all of this together. And this is where another... Um, I found the Martin Luther King Jr. Day sticker in a holiday book, the No School, and then the Little Balloon and the Heart are from the last year's um, Mom, was it called Mom Planner? Super, super Mom? Super Mom, I think, was part of the Planner Girl line. And they had uh, nice little script things in there. And then this box, this is a box, this white one. From the homebody and it fits in here plus it lines up with the lines and it has a little flower so i want to stick this in here 
and then somehow figure out how to line it up <laughs> with this line. So I think we're gonna go right. Uh, yeah, right on the edge. Right about there. Let's go up a little more. And it all fits. And all these, the Celebrate sticker, and then there's a heart. And this is where I want to write down my, oh geez, it's crooked. <laughs> fix it. Too many lines and then you line it up crooked. There we go. Um, I am going to write my Kitty Finley. She passed away maybe two years ago, but this is her birthday. And then on her birthday, when she was alive, when she was her birthday, and it was, she's since passed away, and it was also the day that we found a kitten that we ended up adopting, and he is now three, so this was a while ago. Now we're going to use another one of these long box stickers on Friday. And I've also added a flower from the homebody and then a no school, another no school day. This is just come back from Christmas break and we have more no school <laughs> from the mom. All these tongue twisters. So this one I can line up a little better because. plans so <clears throat> I found this sticker the flower with the U shape and then these are also all from the Superman book but I was gonna put this one down here for Saturday and then I also have little cleaning stickers again Superman or Saturday. Put it up here. I guess we could just put it. I'll just put it over here. No. Put this little guy right here. And then for Thursday, I just have this little box. Goes with that box. Because there is also Early release for school, conferences. So I think that's what minimum day means, that it's not a full day of school. So I'm going to use that one. I don't know that I've ever used those. And actually, I also have a little shopping cart to add on Monday. Squeeze that in there. Up here, up here, up here, up here. Let's put this up here. All that wasted space up there. And then I have another little grouping for kind of between Tuesday and Wednesday, where it is the spray, a little flag, a little circle, which is coming off, and a washing machine for laundry. And I'm just going to kind of stick this. Kind of here, kind of there. I want it to be for both days. Maybe I'll move this one a little bit. Okay, so I think that we are done for this week. That was pretty quick. It took me way longer to plan that than it did for me to actually decorate it. So. Let's put this back in the planner. Yep, find the page. Here. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. All right. See you later.